There's always a question of when modern art really started. You could say it was the Impressionists that Monet and the Impressionists began to look at how to render what they saw in a different way, but probably a, a more relevant date uh, that actually shows what was going to happen in the 20th century was the development of Cubism at the beginning of the 20th century. You had Picasso and Braque who started it and followed by Leger and Greece who came in and they're the four titans if you like of Cubism. And then at about 1914 analytical Cubism began to give way to synthetic Cubism and that began to see much more sensuous, rich colours and slightly more abstract forms and not as though you're looking round the object being depicted. So it's more fragmentary. And that period lasted till, say, 1918. So this picture by Juan Gris really is in the maturity, if you like, of that style. The artist dealers were absolutely crucial figures in the development of Cubism because they supported the artists. Without that, they wouldn't be able to, to do the art, which often was quite difficult for collectors of that period to appreciate and therefore to purchase. The first dealer that really supported Juan Gris was D.H. Kahnweiler, but he was interned in the war, the First World War, and that allowed a vacant space which Léonce Rosenberg, who was perhaps the most important French cubist dealer, he stepped into and became Gris's dealer and opened a contract with him. The provenance of, of important paintings is always important. So uh, this was Léonce Rosenberg. Uh, it then went to Pierre Matisse, who was Henri Matisse's son, who started a, a, a gallery, a dealership in New York in 1924. And he became a very important figure in the New York art world. The picture was then purchased from him by a very major American collector, Muriel Steinberg Newman. So we have the different dots adding emphasis and excitement to the, to the picture surface. We also see a traditional cubist subject matter, a nature mort. Now this, in, this one is quite abstract, so we can see shapes, but it, in our head we're trying to work out what they are. We can see perhaps dishes, glasses, Maybe that could be from a guitar. Uh, we see here dado or panelling rails to denote the space behind the table on which what we're looking at could be based. Important pieces by Greece at this period and this scale are quite rare on the market. This picture last appeared on the market in 1989 uh, when it was sold at auction and it made 2.6 million dollars at that time in an auction in New York. We are now able to show this to the public for the first time, uh, more or less a hundred years after it was painted. <laughs>